This is episode 25 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, January 4th, 2021. Today's show examines craft beers from the following breweries, Def Brewing, The Vale Brewing Company, and North Park Beer Company. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, January 4th, 2021. This is episode 25. This is Tech Guy Steve with today's introduction for the host, Chris and Charlie. The goal of this show is to examine the best craft beer from Southern California and beyond. Today's craft beer menu includes a British ale, two very different double IPAs, and a pastry stout. If you'd like to subscribe to this show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Here's your other host, Charlie. Hello. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. And uh, this is our first episode of uh, 2020. Happy New Year. 2021, as it is. Yeah. Yep. Episode 25. Episode 25. Hey, we got a couple of beers uh, today. We got uh, yes. uh, a new brewery, a brewery we, we haven't uh, had anything from uh, on this show, Deft Brewing here in, in town. It's a uh, European, uh, I think they're uh, European-influenced uh, beers down British, there. British influence. British influence, yeah. Uh, we have a, a beer from the Vale, uh, and then a couple of beers uh, from, from uh, North Park Brewing here in San Diego. Excellent breweries. So I think uh, let's uh, let's get right to it. Okay, you want to hear beer, or you want to smell beer, or you want to drink beer? You tell me, because I'm pouring. Ah, I love it. I love it. So, uh, 2021 begins. What's this first beer that you got, Charlie? This is uh, a British Dark Mild, like an ESB style, I believe. You can read a little, uh, read us read us that uh, info on there, or I'll read the info. Give it to me. Let me see here. He says, uh, darker malty yet low alcohol mild British brew that drinks so easily with light toasted and caramel flavors and gentle sweetness. Uh, ample flavor such a, uh, oh, ample flavor for such a uh, low ABV beer. And it says, uh, this is called uh, scummy or scrummy suds. And it says, why scrummy? Look it up. So we have a uh, English mild ale, uh, you know, coming in at at three point six percent. Scrummy suds. You definitely, definitely smells really caramely, really yeah, malty. Dude, it smells delicious. For it tastes, sure, it tastes really good. Too. Yeah, it's a it's a drinker. Let me so tell it's a you. it's just like like a dark caramel, amber. Yeah, dark amber kind of caramely color. I think it. It definitely smells Holy really, cow, really great. pungent, right? Like it, it's really, really. Um, the smells are great, right? A lot okay, of. I drink. They have two other uh, levels. They have three beers that uh, you can buy. It's the UK experience, basically, and then it goes in three levels. This is the lower level one. Then they have a middle one, and then they have a uh, like an ESB, you know, extra special bitter, you know, super, super. They were all. We started the other way, so this is the last one on the British three. And it was, they were fantastic. This one is right in the same ballpark on flavor and amazing taste and everything. So super impressed with those other two. And this one is right there with it. I've got uh, three more of these crawlers from, uh, it's the uh, European ones. So I'll go through those and uh, maybe we'll pop one of those next time or a couple next couple uh, shows from here. So, so Deft is a um, is a brewery here locally. I I, I read a uh, little bit about about one of the owners was a mechanical engineer. It sounds like he was kind of at a uh, um, at a point in his life where he either had to leave San Diego or change careers to stay in San Diego. Uh, so he he was a home brewer and uh, dove right into to opening a brewery. So he's not like uh, he didn't um, he didn't work at another brewery previously. He had not like been to any brewing brewing course. Uh, he was just a home brewer that decided to to go all in on making that brewery. He's doing a heck of a job, I'll tell you that. That's that's a phenomenal beer. Yeah, this guy knows what he's doing. I already, I already knew this. Uh, I'd never heard of this place, and we were just driving around. I think it was a 
like the day after Christmas or something. And we were actually looking for Coronado brewing down there. We're down on Marina and uh, made a left-hand turn and then made a left and pulled over to look at the map and, you know, where I was. I was kind of turned around, actually. So uh, Coronado lost out on that one, but we gained by seeing this place and, there was nobody in there. I mean, their their tap room is closed right now, but they are selling beer, so you can go in there and get some, and uh, you know, drink some of them. I mean, they're they're fantastic. I mean, if you're if you're a British style or UK style or European style beer drinker, this is the place in San Diego, in my opinion. So, I've tasted a lot of ESBs. Even you know, it's right up there with uh, Banksy, which won gold medals, and I think one of these has won a medal somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure, but. Uh, Oh, it is European in style beer, so local and fresh. I like it. But uh, check them out. They're, they they have these uh, twenty five ounce uh, crowlers, which is super sweet. You know, you could drink three people can have a beer out of this one easy. So I'm a big fan of that smaller size of the crowlers, uh, the the, the twenty five ounce uh, vice the thirty two ounce crowlers. That's a difficult. Uh, you're you're having two pints. You know, yeah. like. Especially in my house, I'm the only person that I that would be beer. happy to drink 32 ounces of these beers. That's a that's a good beer. Yeah. I mean, if you're talking 3.6 percent, this is an all day drinker, man. This is a fantastic flavor, and it's low alcohol. You know what can what more can you ask for there? I mean, and the flavor is outstanding. It tastes like a fresh made beer. I mean, it's definitely a little little fuller flavor than you would expect out of like a 3.6 percent. Oh yeah. Um, which is great. It is I'm loving that color um, too, man. Look at that. It's definitely toasty. And like the smell off the glass. Yeah. I, I like that. But. Gosh, that's a, that's a good beer. Here, kill this can, steve He's going to finish it off for us. But so, yeah, super excited. Out of the blue, I find this place. I mean, great luck on my part. And uh, uh, Danny and I, my son-in-law, we just went in there and we're like super impressed and we bought everything we thought we would like right off the top, and so far, so good. Yeah, that's cool. pretty good. Yeah. That's uh, I'm I'm a fan of that. Good. Started. I would definitely uh, swing swing back down and, uh, and and blow through that area. So, what else have you guys had uh, this week? Any any good beers? Anything that was? Uh... Yeah, I had a ton of them actually. <laughs> I mean, How about I you, Steve, before yeah, I, I get my uh, pen and paper ready yeah, for Charlie? Charlie's long list. So um, Conrad um, went on a little road trip uh, before Christmas, and he went out by Moab in Utah and uh-huh. Moab Brewery. He got us a couple of beers from there. Uh, Johnny American's IPA, premium microbrewed Indian pale ale. It's really good. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Nice can, too. Yeah, definitely. I would have more if I could get more. So yeah. I only bought one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we got to work. We got to work on his beer mule. Yeah, skills. the beer mule. Yeah, there's. Yeah, you got to walk <laughs> yeah, before yeah, you yeah, can yeah, run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, actually giving a class later on this month. <laughs> <laughs> it's the master's version. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Colorado next year after next Christmas. So right. we just booked a uh, vacation rental. So um, nice. we'll be um, I think Fail? I'm gonna drive. Yeah. Uh, no, I think we're gonna go. You know, my my uh, my sister in law has um. Uh, she, um, had, had lung surgery last year. So there's a little concern about like uh, being at altitude for, yeah. for an extended period of time. So I think we'll, we'll stay a little bit lower, but, uh, we'll still drive in, uh, either which way I'm going to, I think I'm going to drive there. Yeah. Um, just so I can hit the whole way, outer range and, uh, Casey. and Casey on, <laughs> on the way through there for sure. And then we'll be close enough to Denver. And I think I'll probably swing up to my father-in-law's afterwards. Sweet. So, um, uh, is that what you drank? Is that it? I'm only bringing one. Wow. There it I'm is. Gonna, I'm going to stomp on it right now. What do you got, Charlie? Quintessential uh, barrel aged uh, sour ale with banana, coconut, and vanilla from Pure Project. Uh, I had uh, two North Park uh, the night before that, the Night Fight and Single Round. Uh, I think they were both were hazies, a double dry hop one, and then just a regular uh, hazy. And then I had a three scoop from The Answer. And that was, uh, what was it? Uh, passion fruit, lemonade, mango. Oh, that was so good. Uh, then I had, um, uh, best bitter, uh, from this deaf brewing. That's one of the ones I had. Uh, that was, um, 
uh, delicious English bitter. Uh, bitter Business Bureau is bitter. Business Bureau is the name of that one. That was delicious. Uh, then I had uh, Strata Bombs from North Park. That's a double dry hop, I think, too. That, I think that was in my... Um, that was yeah, in my too? Advent beer. Yeah. They make some great beers. I'm a, I'm a fan of uh, of North Park, for sure. Uh, what is this this one here? Oh, Deep Pool Sea is, uh, is the passion pool with different fruit in it. And it's a sour from McKellar. That was pretty delish. Uh, then I did I get the Aroma Constrictor and Infinite Content and Tangerine Whip from North Park. And let me see if I got anything else on here that I swallowed down over the. And I did try this sticky Ferrari, so I've tasted this before, this one coming up, but I'm willing to taste it again. Let's yeah. It that way. That's how good it is. So um I uh I got a, a couple of pack or I got a package from uh from Humble Sea. Uh so I um I had a bunch of uh I have some of those for you too, Steve. Um so I have a bunch of IPAs that I that I picked up from them. Phenomenal. I'm always always a fan. But I think the best beer that I that I drank. So on, on New Year's Eve, I I uh, I've been sitting on this this bottle of Surly Five uh, yeah, for coming up on ten years. It wow. came out in uh, I think 2011 in spring of 2011. Uh, and so this thing has been through a couple of moves with me. It sat in the back of my closet for probably five years. Like I had forgotten about it till we till we moved into our new house, and then it's been in the refrigerator. And I'm like, I could never find a, a situation where I was like. Man, let me. It, it. I always looked at it as this is going to be a better bottle to look at than it's going to taste, right? Because I, I just had zero expectations from it. I popped that from thing, surely, you but but you know because it was so old, it was oh, nine okay. years right. old. It's a it's a Brett sour, a uh, wine barrel aged Brett sour. I popped that thing. It was awesome. Like it was so good. It reminded me of the first time I had consecration at Russian River Brewing. Like yeah. it was just so like the the wine barrel age tasted good. It was it was just the 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 right amount of funk. Um, man, I was super super excited. Uh, Luckily, you waited long enough for it. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was. Like, man, good. I wish we would have. Uh, um, yeah, I was expecting vinegar. You know, <laughs> uh, but but it held up extremely extremely well. Um, man, I wish I had another one. I think you actually might have one. Really. A surly, Just, yeah. You know what? I might have a surly. I think you got one. Cool. Might have to uh, might we'll, have to investigate we'll that. Crack that thing. But the uh, it was phenomenal. It was super good. It was. It was. I I had three three bottles that I had lined up. They were like the three oldest bottles that I had. Um, and one of them was that. And then there was another surly from I think 2015 that I was going to pop. I didn't get around to it. I, I figured that out of the three of them, I'd get at least one good glass of beer. <laughs> um, and that, that Surly five was phenomenal. So that Perfect. was, that was the only beer I had for, uh, for New Year's. What was, was that beer when we were digging through some beers in the garage and you said, Hey, I've been looking for this one. Oh, so it was modern times and, um, Jester King, uh, they, they collabed on a sour, um, Gosh, what is it? I'm not certain. It was it was uh, rendition number two. It was phenomenal. It was, yeah, uh, you just, I remember you saying I've been looking for this beer for about three years, and I'm like, well, there you go. I think <laughs> I drank my my first one about or my last one about two years ago, and and didn't uh, didn't end up with another one. So I was definitely excited. I'll uh, I'll figure out uh, figure out. Well, what I had three was. of them, so I gave one to you, uh huh, and then I kept one, and I gave one to Danny. Oh, there you go. So that was that was pretty interesting. So I haven't still haven't popped it, but we can get into that any other time so yeah no that's a good beer next up what else you got we got a uh north park double dry hopped hazy 8.5 percent alcohol by volume this 2020 is over 2020 is over by north park so i i know steve is steve uh you, you question occasionally uh the availability of the of the the beer so this north park 2020 uh north park man they um Coming into this year, they uh, Ooh, they had fantastic. canned, I think, just occasionally. But the the setup of their brewery, and they're right down on, um, right down in North Park, right off of Thirtieth Street, University Avenue, Big University and and Thirtieth, mm -hmm. one block over, I guess, probably Thirty First. Yeah, huge, huge. I mean, like, like certainly not a cheap brewery storefront. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not in a strip mall no, in in uh, Miramar. Uh, so they got this this great place. 
Don't they have Mastiff in there too? The the sausage. Yep, Mastiff sausage uh, sausages in the back. Um, so coming into this year, they were kind of set up for for draft only. Like you're going to show up on site, you're going to drink your beer there, take crowlers and growlers away. Um, this year they uh, they had changed at the beginning of COVID. Like everybody else, you know, kind of had to shift to more canning. Um, so they. I don't know if they had done any canning, but they, they certainly didn't plan on doing 250,000 cans oh, of beer as, as what they had done this year. Uh, so that, um, but so this it's available in your finer uh, beer stores around town. Hazy IPA just looks <laughs> pillowy soft. Yeah. Got Slosh some a citra. over here. Give him a napkin. I folks. got one. I got one. Good night. So the, so this beer I actually picked up uh, the other day down at the brewery, but it is available at, at, um, some of your finer beverage stores here locally. Um, Bottle crab. Yeah, there. Um, gosh, there's uh, there's a few different places around town. Good looking can too. Yeah, so it's just a straight blue can with some gold gold writing. Uh, twenty twenty is over. So I definitely couldn't go down there to pick up a couple of beers. They had um, they had an auction earlier this or an auction a raffle earlier this week for. Um, uh, macaroons before dying, barrel aged macaroons before dying. And then um, uh, a bottle of 2020 is over a, a coconut pastry stout, stout, pastry yeah. stout. So uh, I put in for those. Fortunately enough, I I, uh, I won both those raffles. Uh, so while I went to, to pick it up. both? I did get both. I told you I was going to do the heavy lifting. Wow. I did. I couldn't figure out how to get onto that stupid. Well, you didn't have to. I, Thank uh, I, goodness. I came through for Chris us. Chris comes to the rescue there. So the I I, I did. I won He's both legit. of them. And, uh, and picked this guy up while we were down there. So what do you think of that, Steve? It's good beer. It's good. Five five hops, so that's kind of rare. Usually you see one or two, maybe three, but it's a mosaic of hops. So what they, uh, you know, they're they're right up on it. They say this entire year has been about making lemonade out of uh, out of stuff that isn't even lemons. Yeah, well, uh, we've been tested to make uh, stuff so to help close the book on uh, year number twenty twenty. We put together this incredibly juicy beverage with the best hops available. Uh, sitting atop good. a base of favorite pills malt, creamy malted oat, flaked oat, and local raw wheat. We piled on Citra Incognito, Citra Cryo, Nelson, Galaxy, Nectaron, and a bit more Citra. I think these guys are going to have to uh, put on them that they have wheat in them because there's a lot of people that are grain intolerant. And uh, I got a couple of buddies uh, that are uh, grain intolerant, and so they're not able to drink these beers uh, so if they did something without it, would be even better. So, yeah, they're gluten free. Yeah, I don't know that they're glu- They are, but I mean, they're the wheat is the problem. It's not as much the barley and the hops and stuff. It's mm-hmm. the wheat. So if they're throwing wheat in there, it's uh, it's a no go for them. So let's well, yeah, I mean, you know, so so Megan and I, wheat, uh, we, well, yeah, gluten free, right? Or they're gluten intolerant. I think as they they you have no glutes. That's right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. No, but it's a great beer. It looks fantastic. It's looks definitely like a, not boozy. No, not boozy. So not for smooth, April. Five percent. Goodness. Yeah, it's got that great citrus. I think you really smell those citra hops in there. Uh, two you know, of those. Eight and a half percent. Two um, of those, and you're sitting out the rest of the night. Not, not very, uh, not very bitter at all. No, like, it's super smooth. low, pillowy, soft. Uh, Twenty twenty is that, over. That oak, the oat piece. Because you gave me another one of those beers that was in the advent calendar that was had a, a lot of oat, oat, yep, oat it in it. Gave that that great mouthfeel. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, so it's um, soft, right? This yeah. is this one's going to be in that range for you. This comer upper here. Yeah, that's pretty tasty right there. I'm a fan. Yeah, I've been drinking some more IPAs recently. West Coast. Not all of them. Are the West Coast from Humble Sea, are those hazy too? No, I don't think so. I think they do a couple of different, uh, the, there's some, uh, you know, those those beers that I gave you today, um, there's a couple of West uh, West Coast Pale Ales, I think, and those are clear. Yeah. Or, um, yeah, so. I mean, I'm going to drink them either way. I mean, yeah. it's not like I won't drink them, it's just that I prefer some haziness. So there's a double dry hopped West Coast IPA, Lepron James. There you go, Steve, those are for you. It's a four pack of pleasure right there, Mister. You're gonna need that. Yeah. <laughs> Case uh, to get the work done. <laughs> Might need to one line that 2020 and 
<laughs> drop a one in there and save it for next year, <laughs> depending on how this year goes. <laughs> All right, um, man. That's a, that's a good beer. I'm, I like I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Yeah. Super good. I've, uh, yeah. And that's gettable still. It is. Yeah, you can get it locally here. And they, um, yeah, so these guys do... Uh, gosh, I think they do three beers a week is what uh, North Park has been doing all year. Okay, um, so we've done two beers now that you can get. Yep. There it is, yeah. So we're going on to the third beer here now. Guess what? Not locally, huh? You can't get it anywhere but in my cooler. That's for Dagon, sure. Yeah, you don't ever see any veil out here, huh? Oh, man. You guys, I think this... I think this is going to rock you guys. I don't think you're going to be able to contain your enjoyment. Pleasure. So what do you got there, Charlie? This is called Sticky Ferrari. This is a... Hold on. Let me read this off to you. It's a um, double Indian pale ale with marshmallows. So they're they're right up here. It uh, comes in at 8%, Sticky Ferrari. Uh, double Ooh, IPA brewed with that. Uh, smells like marshmallows. It smells so good. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you definitely smell that marshmallow and vanilla. Uh, row two, uh, fluffy oats once again. Uh, we got marshmallow, uh, marshmallow all in capitals, and that's all you smell on there. That marshmallow, yeah. and you smell that that uh, that Madagascar vanilla bean. That's, I didn't even read Madagascar in there. Sorry. They, uh, I saw vanilla or marshmallows, and I dropped to my knees. I was exactly so, I couldn't tell it was on the the can until it's now i'm looking at it. it's marshmallows yeah all over oh is that what it is yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just Sticky pictures of ferrari what a cool name yeah so they and then they they use uh galaxy and citra hops whoopsie it's a white ferrari with a sticky twist take a hit off that fluffy impression tell me what you boys think if that's not the most pillowy soft so, thing that's really good yeah yeah no you definitely taste that uh on, on the that's really unique I mean, it, it smells all marshmallow. They actually say in here, they, they say uh, fluffy impressions of soft marshmallow candies, Lucky Charms milk, yeah, right? Which is yeah. probably pretty spot on there, you know? <laughs> when you're just like all that marshmallow uh, it's sugary magically goodness. magically delicious. And or- orange creamsicle. You definitely yeah. taste that on the back end, I think, with that hops and the oh, vanilla. Um, you know what? It, it, you know, orange creamsicle, I go back to the fall of Troy. The Belching Beaver uh-huh. one that they have out that I have a couple of actually, and they don't they're they're out of them now, so you can't get them until the next time they make them. But it, I would drink these two back to back, and they would be, you know, just wonderful. So, yeah, that's that's really tasty. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that right now. Um, I don't know how big of a fan of of marshmallows I am, or you know, just the thought of like marshmallows and vanilla in my IPAs. I'm just not, you know, you you say those two things, and I'm like. Yeah, pump the brakes. You taste you this taste though, it, though. <laughs> and that's phenomenal. That's yeah. really well done. It is really good. This is this is. I'm I'm gonna have to say this. There's like three three beers on the trip that I went on, and I haven't got into all the stouts yet. Uh, I I've had the stripes, but I mean, there's several more. There's a couple from the answer. There's a couple from uh, more from uh, Aslan that um, we're probably gonna hit some point. But I haven't even tasted them yet. I got so many dang beers, I can't drink them all. I need help. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if anybody's interested, the Podcraft Beer Beer Club. Yep. But yeah. They're- no, I'm serious. This this beer right here is one of my favorites out of the trip so far. I mean, in the IPA zone or you know just regular beer zone without going into the stouts because um, I haven't drank. You know, those are a little harder to to pound two or three in a day. So. I mean, wait, is it? You don't even work, Charlie. What I know the word difficult? would be a little upset if I was drinking, you know, 12 percent uh, stouts all day. If you just woke up in the morning, you're like, oh, time to go to work. You yeah. came out here to the backyard and drank all day. Big stack of cans. Yeah. <laughs> just researching. Yes. Yeah. TikTok. Channel. I tried that research. <laughs> Watch Charlie all day long. That's why beer. we have a couch right there. It's, I can sleep half the time if I need to. But yeah, I was a big fan of this one. Um, the other. The other two for the uh, is the uh, triple crossing with their uh, Valhalla, which is super tasty, and then their uh, Falcon Smash, which is also right up there, man. Three of my favorite beers right now are these three: Falcon Smash, Valhalla, and this uh, Sticky Ferrari. I had that Valhalla uh, queued up the other day. Wait, wait, wait. Let's pronounce it right. Valhalla. 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 Yeah. Is that a yeah. Huh. 
<laughs> I didn't know uh, very well. You being a Viking, I figured you knew that. Valhalla. <laughs> there it is. And you learned something. Uh, learned a new one. Super tasty. Gosh, that's good. Yeah, that's that's good. That's uh, I, I that Certain marshmallow vanilla. There? That's a great great yeah. combination. You don't want any more? No, I'm good. good. I'm not driving. I got to drive and edit. Yeah, that'll, <laughs> that'll be a chore with that in you. That's a uh, that's a really good beer. Looks like we're gonna have to go bottle now. Yeah, yeah. so I thought you know the IPAs were just gonna do well with what we consider more the orange and the the more citrusy yep. thing, but this is like. I would have never tried. Like I would have never. I would, I would have just never, kept on walking. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, I agree. Like if you, you know, if I went in there and you were like, "Hey, let me get that marshmallow and okay, vanilla I'm gonna have IPA. to give credit again to my daughter, who, you know, comes over and says, "Are any of these off limits?" And I'm like, "No, just get whatever you want," because I haven't tried any of these. So, you know, if you tell me it's good, I'll go get one and then I'll drink it and I'll figure it out. And that's what she did. She says, "Wow, this this." This one is really good. And I said, give me a taste of that. And I'm like, taste it. I'm like, where's the can? I need to see the can so I know what to look for, you know? Yeah. So she brought me the can. I was like, those are marshmallows on there, aren't there? <laughs> so super impressed. No, see, it doesn't even say vanilla. Oh. It says uh, marshmallows. They're right up on it. Uh, well, I'm happy with the vanilla. That's yeah, no, for it's sure, but. That's good. I could drink some more of these. I only have like. Probably four more of these. So any yeah, all interested, let me know. That's a we'll uh, sit down and crack a couple a of those bad one. boys. Strangely good though. I mean, I'm I'm big fan of it right now. So we're gonna get into the next one. Yeah, we just pause. Please enjoy this quick intermission. Ready? Hey, I apologize for that, guys. We uh, had to take a. Quick break there. Um, Meanwhile, back at the ranch. At the ranch, Charlie's over here chomping at the bit to pop our last bottle. About to crack a. Oh my goodness! What you got there? This is, it so we pretty uh, good. Our after potty beer is uh, um, twenty twenty is over by North Park. It's a stout though, a stout. pastry stout. The the pastry stout version, thirteen point five percent. And uh, we're talking a weeded imperial stout with Indonesian vanilla beans, roasted macadamia nuts, toasted coconut, black cocoa, and milk sugar and sea salt. I like a little milk sugar and sea salt in my beer. Did they do any other 2020s over? Yeah, it was can. just yeah, just it was just two. the can. Yeah, the can was like a general release, and then the the bottle was was part of their um. Was part of that that lottery. Mm -hmm. uh, so this was just a you had to. Um, <laughs> there's this new Holy application cow. called uh, OZNR. Just a whiff of that. I think is the name of it. They did something right. This was the first release that they had had on uh, this this OZNR, I but it's a weeded it imperial stout. Yeah, Indonesian. Yep. 2020 is over. Drink up is what they say. Smells delicious. They. Um, Do you want mine without the. So this was their first, uh, their their first couple of releases on this was uh, 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 macaroons. Wow, macadamian. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, so the no the mac. Uh, so they they had the macaroons, the, oh, the other uh, macaroon beer. bourbon barrel aged macaroons, and then this. This was like I looked at this as the the second prize. Fortunately, I I, I came up on both of them. I think the second might be. You know what we? Damn, we should have done them back to back. Hmm. Wow, so you definitely you get a lot of coconut on there. Amazing. Mm. That's a ton of coconut. Yeah, a lot of coconut on there. Well, that's really that's like a um gosh, a, like a mounds bar. Yeah, that is a tasty I think you know the drink. the one thing that it doesn't that, that's not there though is it's not like there's not a whole lot of carbonation. No, and it's not barrel either. Not barrel you don't taste There's any no barrel. Wood. There's no barrel on there. It's not barrel aged. It's just a straight stout, but there's like mm. no carbonation on there. Dude, I, I think I would be happy with a little barrel in it if it's got no carbonation. I mean, it's got some. You can see some little sudsies when you roll it mm. around. Right, but but it didn't pour with any head on there. No. But the, I don't uh, care about that. I'm, um, just I'm tasting. Adjuncts are all there. Yeah. Yeah, no, you definitely. Chocolates. 
Good chocolate too. coconut. Yeah. I just get like a, like a Mounds bar, I Absolutely. think. Absolutely. That's where I'm at. But I mean, Mounds doesn't have macadam- macadamia. It has almonds. Does this have macadamia nuts? Is yeah. what they say? Yeah. Yeah. Roasted macadamia nuts, uh, Tahitian vanilla. Wheated. Jet black. It's probably t- top 20 smells. Whew, man, that smells super it's very, rich. Very, very rich. It is it super rich. Yeah, super rich. Yeah, super, super thick pastry. Um, they're, uh, gosh, that's there's, a, there's no alcohol taste at all. There's yeah, there's zero. really not, huh? Uh, like, no, they, they definitely somebody just wanted to 13.5%. Well, yeah, they just were just definitely around. covered up with that chocolate, the, um, the coconut. Can, can we just say right now, North Park's killing it? I mean, I don't care what they're making, they're making it right. I, that's just, I mean, if you want some good hazy, good IPAs, good stouts, hit them up. Yeah, they're hit them up they now. Make phenomenal beer. They um, gosh, it's so. Good. I, I I read this article the other day. Um, Kelsey, the the owner, um, and he was a like a two time home brewer of the year. Like that hop foo recipe was the 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 beer that uh, their West Coast IPA was the beer that kind of put him on the map. Um, and he he was mentioning this year and just how um they've gotten away from making like their the five or six core beers and and every week they're releasing new beers yeah uh, so he just talked about how much fun it was to kind of get back to his his home brewing roots and like continually like make see and throwing them out like constantly it's yeah something they different every week they definitely um have been pumping the beers out this year well they did this one right for crying out loud. yeah no i was i was definitely excited and what a what a great way to start 2021 and put that 2020, 2020 behind us over yeah for sure over the top delish so there it is uh there it is for me that's uh that's about all i got gents so this one you can't get can't get yeah no it was uh so they had said um i think they have a couple week uh pickup i think you have until like the 15th 16th to pick these beers up uh and then at that point you're uh um so it was it was kind of wild this this oznr um is, is this new beer app uh, if you look at it, there's there's a bunch of breweries um, all around the United States. There's uh, the a butt. couple of them, a couple of them in San Diego. It's actually really easy. Um, <laughs> I, I tried to get Charlie to FaceTime. I don't know where the hangup was. Um, but the FaceTime <laughs> that was um, hangup. But the I I didn't have any pro like my application walked me through the the sign up. It was pretty. But you can there's a, only a couple of breweries in San Diego that are using it right now. Um, Alpine or excuse me, not Alpine. Uh, Alesmith is using it. You can go on there. You can order a couple of their beers. You could actually order uh, a Horace Aged Ales, a Speedhawk, uh, Speedway Stout, Horace Aged Ales. Interesting. Um, mm-hmm. or, or, you know, their uh, Speedhawk, I think is the name of it. Uh, but they're the only two breweries in town that are using it right now. This was the first time North Park had used it, and it was just there for, for an auction. But I think you'll see more people using it. Mm-hmm. Um, so do they have a stout in their no more rotation? They, uh, so they, they do this macro, uh, macaroons before dying series. Mm. Um, I, I don't know if it's something that's always on tap. Like mm. they're, uh, you know, they do a bunch of barrel age renditions and, and we'll talk about that more. I'm going to, um, I have a, I have a bottle set aside for, for a future episode, but, um, they, uh, I, I don't know what they're, if they have a stout that's mm-hmm. like their consistent stout. I know they have like rotating, you know, whatever, whatever comes up that they can, Oh, it's just okay. kind of amazing because I mean, the IPAs and the 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 other beers that we've had from there have been great. <clears throat> yeah, I would assume it's just hard, a little harder to make a stout. I'm, I, maybe I'm wrong, but but they did. If this is if this, this is their is, first attempt, it's this pretty is not damn their first good. attempt, probably. But. <laughs> yeah, they um, more to come. <laughs> yeah, no that that macaroon like they're um they get some, they have some really really highly rated. It's impossible. It's the the first two bottles that I've. I, I mean, I've tried multiple times to try and get bottles from them mm-hmm. on Eventbrite or or um, other plat uh, Eventbrite. I have the, the other one that they released, and they um the bottle. Yeah, what was it? Um, I don't know. I got it though. I mean, I can't remember what what the name of it was. But huh. It's in one of the coolers here. Yeah, the um uh, I I know I've tried to get other was, other bottles of their um, their beer and I have I it's the first bottles that I've been able to get from them. It wasn't as, it wasn't something you could just you just order it and go in there and pick it up and I did. I don't know. Hmm. I'll have yeah, to do they, some investigation. Yeah. yeah. Um I I I know they're uh um pretty sought after when they're when they're barrel aged beers uh go up they're uh, gone uh, very very quickly. We had some good ones today, boys. Yeah, no, that was it. Yeah, so we uh, um, 
had a couple of North Park beers. We had the uh, the 2020, uh, the the stout, as well as the uh, the IPA. Um, we had the the Deft, uh, phenomenal, as uh, as well as the Vale uh, Sticky Ferrari. Yeah, that was a great beer. Super it's amazing. Amazing. It was great. Until next time. I just wanted to mention before we go is that uh, I got my membership to uh, Mostra. Ooh. I'm excited. And they they responded. So, I mean, I mean, with an email. So, I was quite pleased with that and uh, can't wait till that all starts happening because I think there's going to be some beer involved with that too. So, but if not, I'll be drinking some great coffee. <laughs> So. Yeah, no, they. I I just ordered uh, the other day. I ordered Mostra's. Um, the they put up on their website the beans that they had submitted a couple of different beans uh, when they when they won their roaster of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, so they had the second rendition of those beans. They did like a two six ounce packages of of roasted beans sent over. Yeah, I I was I, I saw that <laughs> ordered those up. So those should be here. My pour over games about to uh, Ooh, yeah be on fire let's this make week. Make it happen. So I'm a big that's, fan of that. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's relaxing. Just, it is. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to make a cup of coffee, and it's going to take me 15 minutes. Yeah, right. And I'm not going to be thinking about anything else. No, it's so coffee. great. Speaking of coffee, did you uh, did you receive the uh, Dark Horse um, and... Uh, McKellar. McKellar. And Vine and Vine. Yeah, did you... I did. I haven't... I was going to pop them. I haven't... We. I've been blowing through this cartel coffee that I have. Okay. You, go, you do whatever you want. Oh, I will. Because that's not a big bag either. It's not. It's small. It's like a twelve ounce bag. I yeah, think. I think it's eight. Is it eight ounce? Yeah, it's very tiny. Yeah, I was. I was. I was going to dial it in on some pour overs. Yeah, well, that's the way to go. I mean, anything that mm-hmm. or French press, and you're good. So, mm-hmm. but uh, so much for our little coffee talk. Yeah, the coffee yeah there it is. The <laughs> so, yeah, we, we did. did get a, we get, did get a little feedback. You know, hey, did we? we can we can we can do a little bit of other things. No, did we? you know I, what? Hey, I got two. No, never. On the seltzers, did you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, they didn't. They didn't do that on social media. No, they, you know, I was just direct phone calls. Yeah, okay, who yeah. was that? Who, Jake. I'm not going to. All right, no, Jake. I am not outing. <laughs> it was Jake. You know, it was 100% I am not outing Jake, him. I know it was you. <laughs> I'm not outing Jake. At I'm all. outing him. I'm outing him. <laughs> <laughs> Next week we're all yeah, exactly, seltzers. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I actually had a. I had a. Um, gosh, what was all my, seltzers what all was the time. Fake. Oh, I. Cletus Clearwater oh. was gonna send an email <laughs> saying we should do a seltzer show. Gunner Rosbo, <laughs> Cleet Stegelson sent us an email. <laughs> so we'll see if uh, if old uh, Cletus gets that email in this week. That'll be interesting. Yep. Uh, until next week. Happy New Year's. Cheers, brothers. Cheers. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you have feedback, then head over to thepodcraft.com and send us email. You can also rate and review the podcast on your favorite podcast listening app. Not sure which podcast app to use? Then head over to thepodcraft.com for a complete list with a complete list with easy to access links. So to summarize today's show, we had Scrummy Suds, a British dark mild ale from Deaf Brewing in San Diego, California. 2020 is over a hazy double IPA from North Park Beer Company, also in San Diego, California. Sticky Ferrari, a double IPA with marshmallows, fluffy oats, and vanilla from the Vale Brewing Company, based out of Richmond, Virginia. And the last beer was 2020 is Over, a pastry stout from North Park Beer Company, San Diego, California. As we close out today's show, we would like to continue to ask you to please recommend the show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. Word of mouth is one of the best ways to increase listenership. And we are still looking for feedback on should we cover in the future seltzer drinks being crafted by the many fine breweries we're covering in this show. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Thanks so much for sharing your time and attention with us. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. 
All Rights Reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.